Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to list top 10 things we know so far in the film Avatar 2. Let's get right into it. Number 10. The film will be released in theatres on December 16th, 2022. Almost as soon as the first Avatar film was released in theatres, speculation about a sequel began. Since then, Avatar 2 The Way of Water has been in the works, but filming schedules have changed several times. This film, like many others in recent years, was delayed due to the Covid pandemic. Furthermore, the filming required some very specialised technology. The required technology did not yet exist in its complete form, further delaying the filming of Avatar 2. Number 9. The budget for the film was even higher than for the first Avatar. The first Avatar film had a massive $237 million budget in 2009 and Avatar The Way of Water had an even larger budget. The film was given a whopping $250 million budget. Based on the uniqueness of the filming techniques used, it's unlikely that the film could have been made for any less. The first Avatar film grossed a record-breaking $2.5 billion worldwide, making it a wise investment. Because of the excitement surrounding the upcoming sequel, it's entirely possible that the film will make a similar amount of money by the time it hits theatres. Number 8. James Cameron assisted in the development of the camera he used to shoot the film. James Cameron was so invested in the Avatar project that he wanted the best equipment for his filmmaking efforts. Cameron's production company, Lightstorm Entertainment, collaborated with Sony on camera specifications. Cameron's preferred camera, the Sony Venice, was confirmed in 2018 and was used for the filming of Avatar The Way of Water. At the time of its release, the camera was Sony's first full-frame digital motion picture camera and it was used with 3D stereoscopic rigs for maximum versatility. Number 7. The story is mostly about family. This highly anticipated film sequel takes place about 15 years later and stars Jake Sully as a chieftain and Nate Thierry as a high priestess. James Cameron's film plots frequently include universal themes at their core, which is why they resonate so deeply with audiences. In the film, Sully and Nate Thierry are concerned with protecting their clan, but their primary concern is the safety of their children. The difficulties that parents face are a major focus of the plot, lending a relatable dose of reality to this fantastical sci-fi world. Number 6. There are three more planned sequels. Fans of the Avatar universe will be relieved to learn that Cameron does not intend to end with Avatar 2. There is a full film franchise planned, which will culminate in 2028 with an untitled Avatar 5. Number 5. The sequels were all written at the same time. Surprisingly, all of Avatar's planned sequels were written concurrently. Cameron collaborated with a talented writing team that included Josh Friedman, Rick Jaffa, Amanda Silver and Shane Salerno. The team used a method similar to storyboarding to generate the basic groundwork for each film to ensure cohesion. Cameron wanted all of his writers to be equally invested in the sequel's development even if they weren't directly writing them. Number 4. All of the main characters are returning. Because the original core cast is under contract for potential sequels, fans can expect to see many of their favourite characters return in the new film. Zoe Zaldana will reprise her role as Neytiri and Sam Worthington will reprise his role as Jake Sully. They are scheduled to appear in all future sequels. Stephen Lang will also appear in the film and his character will serve as the main antagonist in several sequels. Number 3. Several new actors have joined Avatar 2 and beyond. Aside from the returning cast members, several new actors have joined the Avatar universe for Avatar 2 and the subsequent sequels. Most notably Fast and Furious star Vin Diesel will make his series debut. Michelle Yeoh and Kate Winslet from Titanic will both appear. Kate Winslet will collaborate with James Cameron for the first time since Titanic was released in 1997. It's fitting that the star of the third highest grossing film of all time is reuniting with the director who gave birth to it, especially for such a massive project as Avatar 2. Number 2. The majority of the movie is set underwater. The location of Avatar 2, The Way of Water, is one of the most amazing aspects of the film. James Cameron was not satisfied with simulating underwater filming, he desired the real thing. Cameron and his team created a new underwater motion capture technology specifically for this film franchise, which will change the way future underwater films are created. The team built a 900,000 gallon water tank for all of the sequels, allowing them to create different types of water conditions for specific scenes. Number 1. The actors required additional training for the film. Because scuba equipment would have interfered with the mocap technology, all of the main actors for Avatar 2 The Way of Water had to train extensively in the art of freediving. 
Kate Winslet did all of her own underwater stunts and practiced holding her breath for seven and a half minutes. Even the younger cast members who play Sully and Neytiri's preteen offspring were trained in scuba diving and, according to Cameron, delivered impressive performances in the dive tank. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.